Hi, this is Tom Campbell uh, from Destiny Unbound Angling. Uh, I was asked by the Atlanta Fly Fishing Club to tie some flies that I use down here on the Gulf Coast for redfish, tarpon, bonita, uh, jack creval, and um, I think I'll start with the first one, it's an easy tie. Um, it's what I call an electric clouser. It's tied just like a clouser minnow except uh, it's got a different material instead of bucktail. Um, it's got poly bear, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but to start out with, uh, I will zoom in so you can see um, more closely what I'm doing. And I'll move this over. But uh, we'll start out with a Gamagatsu stinger hook. These are extremely sharp. Put it in this vise. It's got a really thin wire. Um, if it touches a fish's mouth, it will get, you know, that fish is just hooked. It's a dangerously sharp hook. Um, once you have the hook in the vise, uh, go ahead and start your thread um, near the eye of the hook. Go about three eighths of an inch or a third way down the shank. Flip it off. Um, I use medium size uh, bead chain. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. There you go. Uh, medium uh, bead chain eyes. I've got black. Um, you can use silver or gold, it doesn't matter really, but I like the little black in my flies. So I go forward a little ways. And then we're going to X wrap these guys on. And then we do a couple halo wraps around it. And then um, I always use a little zappa gap. Put a drop of zappa gap on there. Make sure those guys stay on really tight. Don't move. The next part, now that these are on, got your eyes on, um, is the poly bear. This is the stuff that I think is so cool. It's basically Puglisi fibers with um, with angel hair flash in it. Um, I called a fly shop and unfortunately they're not making this stuff anymore so in a few months we'll be having to use Puglisi fibers and then mixing it ourselves manually. But this stuff has really mean flash. It's buoyant so it stays up above the grass. But I've got a hank right here for my bottom part of my electric clouser. And I'm just going to tie it in right here behind the uh, bead chain eyes. And I'm going to wrap it all the way down to the bend. Flip off the excess. And you can leave, you know, whatever. We're going to trim this up on the back, so like that. We got our bottom part of our clouser minnow, electric clouser. Uh, then we come in with something else that's a little bit different. Some uh, chartreuse or you can use orange or gold. All those colors work well. A large cactus chenille or estaz. Tie it in on the back, go forward with the thread all the way in front of the eyes, and then um, start wrapping this guy forward. Pull these little, I don't know, these little pieces of mylar back as you wind it forward so you don't cover them up with thread on the chenille. 
and just keep wrapping it until we've got a body here of chartreuse chenille. It's just a splash of color and I think it makes a difference because redfish love the bling and so I timed it off right here one two three clip off your chenille and tighten it down clip off any excess little pieces that are stray pieces that are sticking around all right um, now we've got we're two-thirds of the way done